Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Welcome, welcome on behalf of concerned disabled citizens to our 10th annual gospel concert. Let's give the Lord some praise. Put your hands together. Christine McCowan, one of the charter members of Concerned Disabled Citizens, and it is my pleasure to welcome you uh, this evening. We have a special, a very exciting program planned for you, and so it's time for, for us to get started, and without further ado, it is my honor to welcome to the stage our own, our own, very own Dr. Bob Simmons, will come and lead us in prayer. We want to start this off right. Dr. Simmons is the pastor of Dallas First Church of the Nazarene, a member of Concerned Disabled Citizens, and serving as our chaplain, Dr. Simmons. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here tonight. We thank you for concerned DeSoto citizens and what it means to the city of DeSoto. Thank you for bringing all of these faith groups together tonight for the purpose of lifting up your name. Bless us. Bless the musicians. Most of all, bless to our hearts the message that they sing about and may we go out of here not having heard great performances, but may we go out of here changed in our hearts and minds to serve you better. In Christ's name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Simmons, for the beautiful prayer. And now I'm going to ask our president to come and bring a very special welcome to you. And she will be followed by our own mayor, who is also a member of Conservative Social Citizens, Mayor Bobby Waddle. Our president, David Quayle. Thank you, Kirstina. Welcome to each of you. I'm so excited to have you here today. This is one of our major events that we have annually, and we invite you to come back each year and share with us and bring some friends. Uh, just a word about Concerned DeSoto Citizens, we are open to anyone who is a resident in DeSoto. Our um, purpose is, our main purpose is to encourage our children in the schools and we uh, have fundraisers throughout the year to help provide scholarships for DeSoto High School seniors. So we invite you to participate in all of our efforts and indeed this is one of those times when we are uh, having this this occasion and all the funds that we raise will go toward those scholarships and we've been very successful in providing scholarships in the year so we thank you for that. Um, I'd also like to give a special thank you to our uh, committee chairs today, Leon McCowan and Connie Johnson for helping to put this on uh, and all of the uh, officers and members of Concerned Minnesota Citizens. Many of you may have heard that I've been away for a while uh, caring for a very sick friend but they've just carried on, and I wanted to take this opportunity to thank them for that. I'd also like to thank our city officials that are here today, our school board trustees that are here, and school officials for being here, all of our performers, and our friends and fellow Christians. As we said before, let's just have a mighty good time in the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. We will now be joined by our Mayor, Bobby Waddle. Let's give him a hand. I would just like to welcome everyone on behalf of the city. Uh, it is such a great honor to be with you this evening. And Sherry and I have attended, this is our third or fourth gospel fest, and you've got a real treat in store for you today. But uh, on behalf of the, our city council, and, and I, I, I know Mayor Pro Tem Thelma Clark is here, and council, Councilman Carl Williams just outside the door. If y'all would stand up just a moment and let everyone see you. And Carl, you can hear me, you can hear me on the corner there. And we also have our city 
Deputy Manager Jim Ball with us, and I know uh, we're delighted to, to have our, our, our uh, council members and our city manager with us. But from the All American City of DeSoto, who will welcome all of you to, to this great event, it is very appropriate as we are into the African American Month of Historical Things, learning about each other's culture that is very important. And it's just as a highlight of all of that. We've had another great events in DeSoto, uh, celebrating that history. We want to continue that. We're all a part, we're all American City, and that's what we do. So on behalf of the city of DeSoto, welcome and enjoy this performance. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Waddle, and thank you, Madam President, for your greetings and welcome. At this time, we have a very, very special treat for you. DeSoto has some just absolutely dynamic citizens, very talented citizens. And you may have seen our first group of performers uh, at some different programs throughout the city. They've been featured in all of the newspapers in the area because they are absolutely wonderful. You see them in leadership roles, one with the DeSoto ISD Education Foundation, one with our very, uh, one of our permanent banks in the community, one with DeSoto ISD as one of its key staff persons. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and help me welcome to the stage Joyce Williams, Kathy Garner, Patricia Coleman, the Dream Girls. Welcome to the Dream Girls. so you can see the faces that go with the voices of the DeSoto Dream Girls, and that's uh, Girls with a Z. Uh, this is Lois Jackson, and this is Teresa Hopkins, and then our own dance angel, Kathy Garner. And so we're ready for you. We just have a fun, y'all. 
that's coming through. God's gonna trouble the water. Come on in. Oh, uh-huh. 
just love it. I get so emotional when I see our young people. When I see our young people doing things for the Lord. Monday representing us in our parents. Would you please stand? Parents, please stand as the men's choir come to the stage. We want to thank you and recognize you for supporting our students. Thank you. Your children and our children should be loved. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the DeSoto High School Men's Project. Under the direction of Ms. Pamela Dawson. Good afternoon. This is the DeSoto High School Men's Choir, and this is one of my daily classes. And my men are just wonderful, and they know I love them so much. We thank you for inviting us this afternoon. We're going to, in celebration of Black History Month, we're going to start off with a spiritual. And it's poor man Lazarus, and we know the story about Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man would only give him the crumbs from his table, but he ended up in, in hell. And he was reaching up, saying, Lazarus, if you just dip your finger in the water, I won't be tormented. So that's the story there. We're going to uh, give you another selection entitled Order My Steps. We hope that you would just uh, encourage the men this evening. And I thank you.
saying that we're with the Lord and everything we're going through, we still going to
Ziki on saw the wheel, way up in the middle of the air. Ziki on saw the wheel, way in the middle of the air. The big wheel runs by faith, the little wheel runs by the grace of God. The wheel, the no wheel, way in the middle of the air. Ziki on saw the wheel, way up in the middle of the air. Ziki on saw the wheel, way in the middle of the air. Ziki on saw the wheel. Way up in the middle of the air, we seek your soul to live. Way in the middle of the air, the big wheel runs by faith, the little wheel runs by the grace of God. The wheel and all wheel, way in the middle of the air. A wheel in the middle of the wheel, in the middle of the wheel, in the middle of the wheel. We seek your soul to live.
to glory to God. Thank you. We have really been blessed this evening. There are a lot of places our young men and women can be, but they are here with us. They recognize the importance of what concerned the Soda Simpsons is doing, and that is we are focusing on improving our community by improving our youth and supporting our youth. And we are in partnership with you parents. We support you and we thank you for all that you've done to make it possible for them to be here. Let's give our students and our parents. And you cannot say enough about the directors and the sponsor of this great choir. And I will tell you that the principal of the high school is Dr. Cheryl Inslee. I know that our superintendent, Lloyd Treadwell, is being the So thank you again. This brings us to our final, final performance. But I tell you what, kick your shoes off because you're in for a treat. Relax, but don't relax so much that you can't lift up the name of Jesus. You know, the Bible in Proverbs 31 challenges us with the question, who can find? a virtuous woman. We are excited, we are delighted, because we have another one of the Soda's own performing for us this evening. She is a, record, a recording artist, lives right here in our community. She and her husband Aaron and their family support this community 125%. And we're just so thankful that she has taken time out of her busy schedule to perform for us this evening. She is talented, but you're going to hear it and you're going to see it for yourself. Help me welcome to the stage our final act this evening, the phenomenal woman herself, a woman of God, Mrs. Tracy Carter. Oh, this is out of hand. Yeah. I have enjoyed myself all today. Amen. I mean, how bad? They can sing. Anybody can sing out the and hold it with notes. How bad? 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 Thank God for being here. I wouldn't have it no other way. I love to minister. I love to give God the glory. It doesn't matter where I am. I'm not too good to go nowhere. I'm not too good to minister to anybody. Because he's the head and I'm a servant. for my niece, Desiree Ned. She asked me to sing this song. Encourage yourself. All right. Learn to encourage ourselves yeah. and encourage our young people. Yeah. Yeah. I think they did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. To the director of the, of the youth, Nick Quinn. Oh. You bet. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. All right.
ne? Um, next to the Soto High School Gospel. With this one, we were able to get um, a little uh, token of money for them. For Thank you. 